Welcome everybody, bienvenidos. En este video vamos a hablar sobre cómo decir hay, había, hubo o habrá en inglés. En presente y en pasado hay dos versiones y las usamos dependiendo el sustantivo. En singular usamos there is o there was y en plural usamos there are o there were. Y para hablar sobre el futuro solo usamos there will be. Vamos a ver los ejemplos. There is a cat on the couch. There is a cat on the couch. Hay un gato en el sofá. Solamente uno. There is a cat on the couch. There is a book on the table. There is a book on the table. Hay un libro en la mesa. There is a book on the table. There's a car on the garage. There's a car on the garage. Hay un coche en el garaje. There's a car on the garage. There's es la contracción de there is y quieren decir lo mismo. There's a tree in the yard. There's a tree in the yard. Hay un árbol en el jardín. There's a tree in the yard. There is a bird on the tree. There is a bird on the tree. Hay un pájaro en el árbol. There is a bird on the tree. Todas estas oraciones hablan solamente de un sustantivo o de un sujeto. Por eso usamos there is. Ahora vamos a ver oraciones con there are. There are three apples on the plate. There are three apples on the plate. Hay tres manzanas en el plato. Y aquí estamos hablando en plural. There are three apples on the plate. There are five people in the room. There are five people in the room. Hay cinco personas en la habitación. There are five people in the room. There are many books on the shelf. There are many books on the shelf. Hay muchos libros en el estante. There are many books on the shelf. There are two dogs in the park. There are two dogs in the park. Hay dos perros en el parque. There are two dogs in the park. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week. Hay siete días en una semana. There are seven days in a week. Ahora vamos a ver la versión en pasado en singular. There was a cat on the couch. There was a cat on the couch. Había un gato en el sofá. There was a cat on the couch. Solamente uno. There was a book on the table. There was a book on the table. Había un libro en la mesa. There was a book on the table. There was a car in the garage. There was a car in the garage. Había un coche en el garaje. There was a car in the garage. There was a tree in the yard. There was a tree in the yard. Había un árbol en el jardín. There was a tree in the yard. There was a bird in the tree. There was a bird in the tree. Había un pájaro en el árbol. There was a bird in the tree. Ahora vamos a ver la versión en plural. There were three cats on the couch. There were three cats on the couch. Había tres gatos en el sofá. There were three cats on the couch. There were two books on the table. There were two books on the table. Había dos libros en la mesa. There were two books on the table. There were no cars in the garage. There were no cars in the garage. No había coches en el garaje. There were no cars in the garage. There were flowers in the yard. There were flowers in the yard. Había flores en el jardín. There were flowers in the yard. There were many birds in that tree. There were many birds in the tree. Había muchos pájaros en el árbol. There were many birds in the tree. Entonces usamos there was para los sustantivos en singular, there were para los sustantivos en plural. Ahora vamos a ver cómo usar there will be. There will be a meeting tomorrow. 
There will be a meeting tomorrow. Habrá una reunión mañana. There will be a meeting tomorrow. There will be a party next week. There will be a party next week. Habrá una fiesta la próxima semana. There will be a party next week. There will be a concert next month. There will be a concert next month. Habrá un concierto el próximo mes. There will be a concert next month. There will be a lot of traffic during rush hour. There will be a lot of traffic during rush hour. Habrá mucho tráfico durante la hora punta. There will be a lot of traffic during rush hour. There will be a snowstorm tonight. There will be a snowstorm tonight. Habrá una tormenta de nieve esta noche. There will be a snowstorm tonight. Si estos videos les están sirviendo para aprender inglés, recuerden dejarme su like y compartirlos con sus amigos. Aquí les dejo un próximo video para que sigan aprendiendo inglés. Muchas gracias.